Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite looks right now for spring, and that is the iconic Twiggy eye makeup look. This can be a little bit intimidating because it is so graphic, but I think that I'm going to be able to show this to you in a way that's actually kind of wearable and makes you look like a sad little doll. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you which look I'm talking about. I'm sure you already know because it's iconic and that's kind of what makes a look iconic is when you can say a name and you know how you know exactly which makeup look I'm talking about. And here we are, this beautiful photo of Leslie. <laughs> I tried to also have my, you know, my part going and not as um, geometric as I would probably like, but so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this look. It's so beautiful. Let's go ahead and do this. She obviously has very youthful, glowing, um, milky kind of skin and her freckles are showing so that tells you she's not wearing a ton of makeup unless they like redrew some freckles on and so I'm just gonna do my skin really quick and simply because obviously this look is more about the eyes than anything else usually the lip is really nude as well so for skin I'm just going to put on my BB cream just like I did in the Audrey video and some concealer, the same ones. And I'm even going to powder it this time just to give a more velvety finish. Last time I don't think I powdered it, but when I do powder, it's just a very light layer of this Celebration Foundation from It Cosmetics in tan. And I usually feel like that makes everything look just really velvety and really lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all that on really quick and then we're gonna zoom in and get into the eyes. Okay, so looking at my photo, how does she do her brows? Oh, they're super natural. They're really thin, actually. Well, then I'm not gonna really fill my brows in then. I'm gonna brush through them with an old mascara and get them in the right place. But I'm gonna do nothing to my brows. So I'm going to contour a little bit with my bronzer. I'm going to brontour. It's not really contouring, but it's, um gonna just warm up this area of my face and create something kind of a little more hollow but also a, like a natural way where it's like oh I've been out in the sun um like like a good hippie so I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna do the eyes let's go ahead and do the eyes for something like this you're gonna need a thin brush and I recently discovered that I have this little guy. I didn't realize that I had him, but um, I was going through cleaning out things as you do when you're home often. And yeah, I kind of noticed that I have this eyeliner brush. It's like a precision liner brush. And I will also be using, um, anyway, I'm gonna be using this brush, which is from the last video as well, same one, um, the e.l.f. eyebrow brush. And I'm going to be using this palette. It has all the colors that I'm going to need. So the first step uh, for this look for me is going to be creating a little bit of depth in my eye area. Um, I feel like Twiggy had a bit more like of a deep set eye. And so I'm going to go into Mocha. So mocha is really beautiful because it's a nice cool tone brown. And that's going to create... An actual like it's gonna mimic a shadow because it's cool tone and kind of grayish so I'm gonna use that just right like looking down underneath this brow bone area I'm gonna try and create a more rounded shape as well kind of because my eyes are naturally almond and kind of slightly upturned and so obviously Twiggy had a more rounded I look and so I'm gonna try and create that so that's just gonna add some depth for all the other shadows that I'm going to put on and all of that 
those graphic lines that are going to end up on my face. Okay, so next I'm going to be mapping out all these lines. I'm going to start simply and then I'm going to kind of build up. And essentially with this part, it's going to be, instead of sweeping upward into a wing, we're going to actually be going along the natural curvature of my eye there. And so um, I'm going to follow and do a really thick line and um, bring it all the way downward. And then use my finger to kind of drag it a little bit. So see how it's going kind of out and down more than up toward my eyebrow? That's what we're going to want to do. And we're going to want it to be nice and dark and pretty thick, actually. Get in there. We're going to make it a little thicker. going to look the most round if it's nice and juicy in the middle and then kind of tapers down. Okay, so this is the initial shape. Looks pretty cool. Since I have two different eye shapes, and this one's slightly more hooded, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. And so as I close my eyes, they look a little thinner, but since I have less lid space, if I want it to be even, when I open my eyes and I'm actually looking at people and talking to people, then I definitely need it to match that way. So... You can see how I made that adjustment based on my eye shape. So consider that. I always be looking forward um, to check and build up slowly. So I'm going to actually add a little bit more to this side so it can be smooth. I'm going to use my thinner brush to just kind of extend this line a little bit. So the next part that's super fun and super important is obviously the lines underneath. On some days, I'll just do my eyeliner like this, have a couple lines underneath and have it end in some dots and have a more wearable, twiggy inspired look. Should I use the liquid? Am I going to regret this? Maybe I'll just put some on the back of my hand and try. It's so funny because I'm like, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, I can do this. So we're going to follow this line. Wait, do I actually like that? Let's go ahead, keep going. I'm going to go shorter and shorter. And just do like dots on the inside there. This is going to be your guideline here. Ooh, I love this. Wait. I was so scared to do this, but actually it's way easier than I thought it was going to be. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. I want to make sure there's one right under my pupil. Oh, I'm shaking so much. Oh, wait, don't smile. Don't move. It's got to dry. Obviously, you can leave it here, clump on a ton of mascara, and call it an evening. I just used this e.l.f. precision, what is it? This e.l.f. liquid, liquid eyeliner in black. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to clean this off. Man, what a bummer. I was on such, I was on a roll, man. Okay. Okay, like I said before, you can always stop here, put on mascara, and you're good. <sighs> oh, yo, girl, she doesn't even have it that thin. What is, what is that? Okay, we're on the right track, F fellas, homegirls, everybody. We're on the right track. Okay. It's okay, we're gonna keep going. Other side, the other side, the other side of me.
geometrically speaking, this line should be parallel. So this has to actually come out, not down. All right, I think that's it. What do you guys think? I feel like it kind of looks flattering and kind of like I'm a cool girl. Alrighty, let's do mascara real quick. I'm using the same one I always do, Josie Moran. We're gonna load it up. All right, let me wait for this mascara to dry. I'm gonna clean up my face a little bit because you can see on my face that I have a little fallout and I'm gonna go ahead and do the freckles. I'm using my eyebrow pencil actually. It's the perfect color for freckles. And it's the perfect size, it's very precise. You can see, actually, I already have freckles, okay? So I'm not gonna do anything but accentuate them. I have some like acne redness down here. It's a few, few little spots where that happens. And um, I just put a few freckles down there too. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more under my eyes and I think that will do it. So I like to take anything that has a little bit of a residual amount of makeup, like say this little brush, and just kind of pat. Not swiping because you're going to get rid of them that way, but just kind of pat them. Anywhere that it needs to look a little more natural. I'm going to do a bit of the transforming pearl. It's cut a pearlescent white color. This is going to really complete the look, I think. So I have this brush. It's nice and fluffy. And I'm going to apply it by patting mostly, more than swiping, to the center here. That's nice and dusty now. I think that helps. Um, there are a lot of 60s looks that use like a different color in the middle. So like a, a blue maybe, or like a nice pastel, nice pastel purple would look really good. So I've got this one shade, where is it? The lip liner, it's peachy, and it is Stockholm by NYX. It is one of their suede lip crayons. Crayon pour le lèvre mat. Did I do that right? Yeah. Wow, okay, that's it you guys. That is the look. I wonder if I can do those those faces that she makes. Okay, okay, yeah, let's do it. Ready? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to play around and try something with your makeup. I had a lot of fun doing this, even though I probably seemed frustrated most of the video. <laughs> it's cool to be able to, you know, solve solve some problems and figure out what works best for your eye shape and all of that. It's tricky though. So this is the second video of my series of flamboyant gamine makeup through the decades. Last week I did a video about Audrey. This week, obviously, it's Twiggy. So next week, we'll be moving into the 70s, and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing for that. So definitely subscribe if you're curious. Check out other videos if you want to, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.